You are always fighting for us, heaven's angels all around. My delight is found in knowing that you wear the victor's crown. You're my help and my defender. You're my savior and my friend. By your grace I live and breathe to worship you. At the mention of your greatness, in your name I will bow down. In your presence fear is silent, for you wear the victor's crown. Let your glory fill this temple, let your power overflow. By your grace I live and breathe to worship you. Hallelujah. You have overcome, you have overcome, hallelujah. Jesus, you have overcome the world, yeah, yeah. You are ever interceding as the lost become the found. You can never be defeated for you wear the victor's crown. You are Jesus the Messiah. You're the hope of all the world. By your grace I live and breathe to worship you. Hallelujah. You have overcome, you have overcome, hallelujah, Jesus, you have overcome the world, yeah, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed that song, Victor's Crown by Hillsong. Truly an inspiring song, encouraging us that we can move strongholds from our lives because God is already victorious. He died for us and now we are able to claim victory in his name. You know, as I encourage you, I want to encourage you to believe on the Lord. Believe that this is possible. In Isaiah 53 verse 5, it says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. And then it goes on to say in John 14 verse 12, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Not only did Christ die on the cross so that we can receive healing and power and victory over our situations, but he has also given us the power to command these situations to change. Then it goes on and, you know, I want to encourage us to consecrate ourselves, get to a place of purity, confess our sins to God, repent. And that this is how we will truly be able to access the power of God. It says in Exodus 32 verse 29, Moses said, he was speaking to the Israelites and he said, consecrate yourselves today to the Lord that he may bestow on you a blessing this day for every man. Come on, this is encouragement for us to get to a place of purification so that we can talk to God one on one and we can access that true power. It also says in Isaiah 1 verse 16, wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes, cease to do evil. But not only should we have faith, not only should we consecrate ourselves and become desperate for a mighty move of god but the bible says that there is life and death in the power of the tongue and this is found in proverbs 18 verse 21 
saints of God, people of God, those who have not accepted Christ as yet, you have to speak things into being. If you want your situation to change, if you want a mighty move of God in your life, if you want strongholds to be broken down, then you must speak it out of your mouth. You have to declare it and it will be done. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We believe that you are Abba Father, that you're the King of Kings, that you're the Lord of Lords. Truly, there is none higher than you, Lord God. There is none more powerful than you, Lord Jesus. God, as we come to you tonight, Lord God, believing that by your stripes we are healed, believing that if we call upon your name, if we come into a place of purity, if we ask you to cleanse us of all our sins, Lord God, if you wash us and wash us clean, Lord, then we are able to speak to any situation. We're able to speak to any mountain, Lord God, and it will be moved we believe that the same power that you showed when you were on this earth Lord God healing you know demanding demons to flee Lord God that we too have this power Lord God through your Holy Spirit and so Father God help us to access that help us to come in touch with that Lord God by getting to a place where we can truly fellowship with you where we can truly do the things that you want us to do Lord God Father we want our situations to change we want this world to become a place where you are honored where you are glorified Lord God and we believe that it is upon us to get that done Father God that it is upon us to preach the gospel in a way Lord God that people will change their entire thinking Father we thank you for your word we thank you for your encouragement God and we lift up your holy name and we say thanks to you in Jesus name Amen Alright hey guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope it truly blessed your heart um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Breaking Bread Ministries, or my Facebook page, Breaking Bread with KT. I truly hope that you are blessed and continue to be blessed by this, these videos. And don't forget to do good to all the people you can in all the world. Have a great night.